you stop using white sugar in a bakery, it's really interesting because customer, there are people that come through a bakery who are really expecting sweet. That's what they're looking for. And um, my customers and my family, all of us are getting used to not so sweet. And so when we eat other items that are uh, made at different facilities, we're in shock because they're so sweet. And then the people who come here who have never been here and want something sweet, they're in shock because it's not so sweet. Um, our country is really uh, crazy about sugar. So for example, uh, a can of Coke has 32 grams of sugar. If you think about I mean, I think if people saw that, they'd probably be less likely to drink a can of Coke. And there's people that drink multiple cans of these a day. And this is a direct correlation with uh, diabetes. This type of behavior in our country is, uh, is causing our health costs to go through the roof. So here's your 32 grams of raisins, and there's your 32 grams of white sugar. I'd be much happier with putting that in my body, and my body would be too. We can take the sugar out of a raisin and, and do something like this, I'm sure, just like we do with cane or whatever, and make a sugar, a pure raisin sugar. But our body likes things like this that are complex. This is just too easy for our body to deal with. It needs the complexity of a whole grain or a whole piece of fruit in order for it to digest it the way we're designed to digest it instead of this modern, these, this is a very, very modern way of us eating. This is only 150 years old and the direct correlation with disease, the skyrocketing, these things that are related to this kind of food are skyrocketing in the last 150 years.